Before creating tables in MySQL, you need to create a MySQL database compatible with the UTF-8 data stored in your original FileMaker database. The information in this video applies to MySQL, MariaDB, Percona Server, Amazon Aurora, Google Cloud SQL, and any other MySQL compatible database. To keep it simple, I will simply refer to the MySQL database, which means any MySQL compatible database server. To complete this task, you should already have a local copy of the MySQL database server installed. When performing data transfers, it is recommended that you perform this task with a local copy of MySQL, not a remote database server hosted on the internet. Once the data has been transferred into MySQL, then you can easily export it from the local database and import it onto the remote server. Overall, this is a more reliable, faster, and easier to troubleshoot approach. If you're serious about database development, you'll probably install the MySQL server directly. But another great option is to install XAMPP or MAMP as a full web development environment, including MySQL. XAMPP is an application containing the Apache web server, MySQL, PHP, and Perl neatly packaged together and ready to run. XAMPP is the package I'll be using in this video. One small disadvantage to using XAMPP for storing your MySQL data is that before you upgrade your version of XAMPP, you will need to perform a MySQL dump of your data so that you can import it into the new version. But XAMPP is still one of the fastest ways to get a web application development environment up and running on Windows, and I recommend it. In this video, I'll be using Navicat to manage MySQL, but there are a wide variety of other tools available. You can even use phpMyAdmin included with XAMPP. I have opened Navicat and opened a connection to my locally installed MySQL database. I right-click the database connection to create a new database from the menu. In the New Database dialog, enter a name for the new database. I would avoid using a database name containing special characters or spaces. Then, select UTF-8 for the character set. What is the difference between UTF-8 and UTF-8 MB4? Within MySQL 5.5 and higher, UTF-8 MB4 supports supplemental Unicode characters rarely used in some Asian countries. Client software like FMPro Migrator and PHP apps need updated to support this character set, so I won't make this choice. For the default collation menu, select any one of the matching options having the CI suffix. The CI suffix means that case insensitive searching will be supported by the database. Since FileMaker supports case insensitive searching, we also want the MySQL database to have this feature. I am selecting UTF-8 General CI from this menu. You could optionally select UTF-8 Unicode CI with a slight probably unnoticeable performance penalty. Or you could select one of the language specific CI options if this would be more appropriate for the users of your application. Just avoid selecting the default UTF-8 bin option or you will be limited to case sensitive searching. You can change these options at any time on a column by column basis, but it is easier to set it correctly when initially creating the database. After I click the OK button, my new database is created in about one second. I can now open it at the left side. Of course, there aren't any tables in the database since I haven't created them yet. That will be the next task I perform using FMPro Migrator. 